So, for people who don't know Kirby Crackle, yes. tell us a little bit about, about Kirby Crackle. Uh, we are a nerd rock band from Seattle who writes songs exclusively about comic book and video game culture. We're thinking of dating Marvel Girls to the zombie apocalypse, the inevitable zombie apocalypse, and uh, unlocking girls' hearts and cheat codes, getting teabagged in Halo. The rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what, what led you to you know, take your passion for comics and geek stuff and turn it into your music rather than going a more traditional rock and roll route? Well, uh, Scott and I knew each other uh, from my comic book store up in Seattle, and we would always chat comics, obviously, in the store. But Kyle's a full-time musician, we would chat music as well, and we are like, why is it that, like, Voltron, those two things are not combined <laughs> to turn themselves into something cool? Because we've never been able to have a good, like, you know, a song about a character that's no more than someone, like, just, like, making a reference to that character, or just, like, saying his name into the mic. Like, it's not a song about Silver Surfer when you just yell Silver Surfer into the mic. Right. So we're like, why don't we take that to your creativity and actually go and explore the actual characters in the song? And we started to create this, like, kind of, you know, this, this deep rock genre of uh, taking comic books and video games and exploring them from the point of view of the characters and the people in that world rather than just using them as a uh, community example. And do you guys kind of feel like you were pioneers? Because I've noticed a lot more geek rock bands have sort of popped up since you guys sort of... Well, you know. it's funny because, uh, you know, we looked at, like, They Might Be Giants and, like, how did they do it? How did Johnny Colton do what he did? You know, none right. of the other groups have kind of, like, walked that line. Right. And so we found that the, the niche that we wanted to do, like Jim said, was writing from the character's point of view. You know, it's kind of like wannabe comic writers in a way, right. only being able to play guitar behind it. <laughs> you know, and uh, and no one else had, had done that yet. But we, you know, we had researched it for a long time to make sure, you know, we're going to see what exactly what someone else was doing. Right. And uh, then we thought, okay, that's going to be our deal. And, you know, if other people come up and do it, that's awesome. It only helps everybody. Right. And uh, there's enough room and table for everybody, you know. So cool. we hope everyone, you know, we hope tons more bands come out. Right. It's only going to make it cooler. How's the reaction been from the comic and geek community? Good. I mean, I know my reaction, yeah. but, yeah, yeah, okay, you know, yeah. people we're, seem to like yeah, it. Yeah, look at me good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're really excited. Uh, everyone's been loving it. We've gotten great feedback. Uh, people just like, it's great when you when they finally actually listen to the songs. They're like, oh, I get what this is. And it's so cool that you guys are actually talking about, you know, the characters from a more personal point of view. And, right. Yeah, it's been great. So how do you decide which comics and games and stuff you're going to talk about? In, in which, I mean, it was you're writing new songs. How do you decide? Or is it just kind of like, today I feel like writing a Green Lantern song. Uh, well, we kind of keep this list of like, okay, so what are we into right now? You know, we're in a crossed or whatever. Like, you know, we're into Star Trek, for example, but people say, why don't you write a Star Trek song? It's like, because we just don't feel like the emotional, like, oh, there's like a story that we want to tell. I guess right. it's kind of like the comic writers, like, I would love Wolverine, you know, someone would say, but if they don't have a Wolverine story, they don't want to put that out there because, you know, as, as an artist, you would feel good doing it as a fan. You can sense BS a mile away. You know? Right, right. We're like pretty, you know, critical fans, too. It's, right. So it's, uh, you know, we, we want to do stuff that we would like, and, you know, we're like, oh, we want to hear a Daredevil song. Like, Let's do a Daredevil song. Right. Can we do it? Cool. If not, it doesn't work out with the next character that we really like because right. there's no lack of stories nor characters that, you know, to choose from. And, and uh, you know, just whatever's inspiring us. Sounds good. Yeah. And, um, you know, you've got two albums out now. Yeah. And you have plans for more, I assume? What's on the horizon? Uh, we have been setting the pattern of doing an album every beginning of every convention season. Uh, we're not going to have one ready by the new convention season. Uh, we're going to do a couple iTunes exclusives, maybe cool. a holiday single, and we've got some kind of like behind the scenes stuff going on. We're going to wait to see how that pans out, and that will kind of determine the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, and uh, finally, what's one thing you want the world to know about Kirby Crackle that they don't already know? It both tastes great and is less filling. And uh, it's for everybody. If you're, in, uh, if you're not into comics, but you just like rock pop, Come join us. We're not a hipster band. We wanted everyone to be included in the fun. So uh, turn it up and play with your friends. Yeah, you can check us out at KirbyCracklemusic.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Twitter.com slash KirbyCrackle. Yep. All our stuff's on iTunes, Amazon, Zoom. Like, we are all over the digital world. And uh, Rock Band now, right? And, or, yep, you can get Ring Bass and Rock Band. We'll have some more songs awesome. on that soon. Like, all the music videos. We do a lot of fun. This is a crowd interaction stuff, so feel free to uh, join along. It's called Roll Over. Friday night at the Monster Ball, I was out of the club with the music bumping. All the 
Under a green ball, in the lane of the beast, the doctor, side of Snake Mountain. Jump on the stage with the hologram girls. Next up, Alice in Plan to light the start of a night at the bar. And the end of the world that my mind can't erase. There were ten in the bed, and the fella can't sit. Roll over, roll over. There were nine in the bed, and the Amazon said, Roll over, roll over. So we all rolled over, and both fell out. And they hopped to the jet for the crowd and pound. Roll over, hey, roll over, hey, roll over, hey, roll over. Yeah, final call came. There were shots all around with the gummy bear juice. And they get up explosion. Feeling all right, we broke into the night. Tag a hand and on transportation. Where to go next? Some said, I hit some sins. I've been trying to sit. But I knew in my head that those itty bitty beds would have too So we traveled to my place They were eating in the bed And the tiger shark said Roll over, roll over They were heaven in the bed And the rescue ranger said Roll over, roll over So we all rolled over and both fell out It was back to the sea and the trees were now Roll over, hey, roll over, hey, roll over, hey, roll over Not one, not two, but three Powerpuff girls We was in the club, toss a back Johnny Bravo, I danced up my pants with the fly temperate. Kicked the sash of my hand, I took it to my land. I'm like a Fred Flynn, she's Diana Prince. I got Peter Bruce Wayne, Crusader this year, son of my Lord One. Oh, she looks like Daphne, the night's still young, and my carpet's shaggy. Morgan told her she's so sarcastic, asking me, really, how to shoot in this plastic? And we can spend a day in line, they will set sail. I could not be the one in this fairy tale. Go! Next in the bed, and the fraggle girl said, Roll over, roll over. There were five in the bed, and the cuckoo girl said, Roll over, roll over. And there were two in the bed, and the squirrel girl said, Roll over, roll So we got all rolled over, and what was left? And we come to the night with a head on my chest. I didn't even ever leave, cause I was snoring. Cause we had to go to rooms in the Saturday morning. Go! Very good, yourself a hand. Thank you for that.